Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in a prior video, we took a look at the Becker BK2 and a little bit of an upgrade, putting on some aftermarket handle scales and looking at these fantastic Kydex sheaths from Stoner CNC. So Stoner CNC, if you're not familiar, typically known for their 1911 grips. So 1911 being a handgun, the grips that go on the side, bolt-on grips, sort of an aftermarket upgrade for that particular firearm. But Stoner CNC doesn't just stop there. Again, making awesome Kydex. And in today's video, well, we're not looking at the Becker BK2, but more the Becker BK-11. Now, if you're familiar with the Becker BK-11, you realize it pretty much doesn't come looking like this. It's a skeletonized knife with a fairly short handle, but in this case, we have some awesome handle scales that not only make the knife look better, but grip is fantastic. A larger handle that fills out my hand, gives it some style and some excellent overall ergonomics. So when we get back, what we're going to do, we'll go through these in detail. I'll show you them up close. I have a number of options here, and then I'll tell you where you can find them. But with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. Now, before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Stoner CNC who did provide these for review. Now, Stoner CNC, I'm not going to give away all the secrets, but they are very influential behind the scenes. There's a lot of products that you probably see and probably recognize that has Stoner CNC work and ideas and just craftsmanship going on behind the scenes. But here today, it's about the Becker BK-11. Now, again, as I mentioned in the intro, this is typically a skeletonized knife. It's typically a very short handle, more of a three finger grip. You can kind of get a baby pinky on there. But here with this awesome G10 handle, you'll notice that it does now fully fill out that grip. Feels fantastic and indexes absolutely wonderfully. The curves, the contours, the overall smooth machining, but the magic behind it is the way it was done. You'll notice that the tang of the knife falling off then the G10 itself, thickening out, has a two-bolt, bolt-on design and just fits very nice and flush to the tang of the knife. So that adds an extension for your pinky to fully fit on there. And even if I had larger hands, now I have a, guess, uh, what I would say, a large size hand. And that does definitely fit on there nicely. But even if my hands were a little bit larger, it would certainly index very well. Can get a full hammer grip on the knife but even better, just throwing my thumb over the top, that's gonna to aid in dexterity. Very easy to control this knife and will allow for some carving, general camp tasks, cutting, cordage, things like that. The other thing that's nice is because of the way this swoops, it does kind of give you the ability to work down onto the working surface and buys a little bit of clearance for your fingers. Now you're pretty much gonna work down onto the belly of the blade at that point, but at the same time where this is a short blade, there's not too much you can do about that, but it definitely adds good ergonomics and helps with the overall function and capabilities of the knife. Something that I'd like to point out is this is the factory sheath and this fits in very easily. Doesn't change a single thing about it. And in fact, you can leverage the lock. You'll notice how nicely contoured that is to buy the room and the space that you need for that lock. So from the functional perspective in the sheath, it's literally perfect. This functions exactly as it was originally designed. So the adding of the scales really doesn't impact performance in the sheath at all. But even more so, I'd say it actually enhances that where it's real easy to get on the knife and deploy it instead of just relying on sort of the tang of the knife and really three fingers to pull it out. Here you can see I can fully grip, has a little bit of that reverse beak on there to help me index. As I flip out that lock and just push off, it's indexing wonderfully. So very safe and controlled deployment. I like that quite a bit. This particular variant here in a tan and black on the inside, maybe a little bit of gray. So I'd say that's sort of a tan 
gray and black combination, but there are a number of different colors depending on your liking. Now, Stoner CNC did provide a number of them for us to look at, so we'll get into these in a little bit of detail. As we take a look at the packaging, this does come with everything you will need, so that is absolutely awesome. Not just the scales, but the hardware and the tools. So as we take a look here, again, you will notice that this comes ready to go. There are some pins that end up basically buried in the skeletonized portion of the handle. And then you have the open holes for the bolts. So that's going to be a very sound and secure locking mechanism that gets everything sandwiched together super tight, very robust, and it is extremely robust and durable construction. Again, you end up with your screws and the standoffs and everything that holds everything together, so that's easy. And because of the nature of these, having the hex heads, it is easier if you have two hex keys, and this does come with both. So that's fantastic. Everything you need to get these installed. This particular variant here in red, so you can see red and black G10, nice layering, so all the way in. And again, just very even. They do a nice job with the overall machining. Everything's smooth, very well fit, just good tight tolerances all the way around. This particular variant here in more of an OD green. Now at an initial glimpse, it kind of does look like what was originally on here, but side by side, you can notice they are definitely a different color. So from the tans, to the greens, sort of that more subdued and I guess military inspired colors. If you want something a little bit brighter, of course, as we mentioned, there's not only the red, but you also have orange. This orange variant, I would say typically a fan favorite. A lot of people do like the orange. I think that's gonna be absolutely fantastic for a quality outdoor knife. I like the bright orange color. Sometimes I want subdued, but other times if I'm in the bushcraft environment, I definitely want the ability to find my knife, especially if I put it down in that orange, nice and bright. Looks fantastic and a great contrast against the black. The other thing that I do like about the orange is it always contrasts very well with the coated blades. The Becker BK11 being a coated blade, and if you can kind of imagine that orange handle on there, that's going to look awesome. So very nicely done and a great option from Stoner CNC. But if you wanted to go fully blacked out, you have that option too. Again, this black G10, really nice. You can see that's just a real sick look. I like that, just fully black, a little more tactical, a little more low profile. That's definitely a great look. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna swap out the scales. I'm just gonna go through this in a little bit of a practical demonstration. Again, very simple, very straightforward, but leveraging all the hardware that does come with the system, which again, leveraging both tools, very straightforward. Just get one locked in place. Rotating that comes off simple. Front and back of the scale. So again, very easy. Just takes a mere matter of seconds. Now again, just to give you the demonstration, this is how the knife comes standard. So you see a little bottle opener on the back, the skeletonizing and those holes, which is exactly what they took advantage of when they fit this out with the pins. So again, just being very clever and leveraging the features in the knife to take advantage of that and make an extremely secure and well-fitting scale right to the tang of this knife. Now you do need to pay a little bit of attention to the size of the bolts and the spacers. So this going towards the front or scallop side of the handle scales, this in the meat of the middle of the scales, but very simple. Now, again, I'm going to swap out the tan. And I think for me, I will go with that orange. I'm getting into the fall season. I know I will be out and about and might have a little bit of difficulty from time to time finding my knife, but I'll be careful. You can see here that that is nicely machined on the inside, buying the space you need for that to fit again. Perfect, tight, and flush, leaving the holes in perfect alignment for the hardware and these pins to set inside to hold everything good and firm. But as we sandwich everything together, again, you can see what I'm saying, just that black in the G10 with the orange popping off the tang of the knife, that is sweet. And now while bolting this together, I'll go fairly tight, but not all the way, just enough that if I need to, I can kind of wiggle things around and get it perfectly aligned, both on the front and on the back. And as I snug up, literally everything just about perfect. I have a little bit of that tang 
just a tiny bit proud. So I'm just going to take my time and kind of slide that around. And as you do that, everything falling down nicely, I'm just going to snug up on my screws. And this is now ready for field use. So a little bit of a facelift there. That is nice. Tiny little bit of rattle for those pins inside if you wanted to. You could probably just put a little dab, and I, and I might do that, just a little dab of blue Loctite just to get them to sit in there without rattling around. Not that that's going to glue them into place, but it's just going to set them into place. And blue Loctite is something easy that you can fairly, uh, without too much difficulty, remove. So that is just a consideration, and that's something I will probably do. But all in all, just a fantastic offering from the people at Stoner CNC. Their products are absolutely beautiful from their handle scales through their Kydex. And if I had a 1911, I can tell you I would absolutely be getting their grips. Their work is just spot on. Their manufacturing, perfect. Their sort of attention to detail is through the roof. They do a great job. So if you're interested in any of their products, do me a favor, take a look at the links below where you can get more of the details. You can follow them on their website. They also have an eBay store. So if you're interested in any of their products, again, take a look in the links below. And so to the people at Stoner CNC, thank you so much for providing these for review and for the rest of you. If you like this content, do me a favor. Take a look at my Outer Limitless 2 channel, which is more on the tactical and firearm side of things. At this point, that channel is growing quickly. I have a ton of videos up there. So if you like what you see here on Outer Limitless, do me a favor and check me out on Outer Limitless 2. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.